Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. So this time I'm doing my other travel journal that I kept while I was traveling in Europe as well. So um, you may have seen this if you've seen some of my other traveling sketchbook things. Um, I went to the Dominican before I went to Europe and so these two pictures are from there. Um, we had horses on the resort that we were staying at so we played polo and I had a couple of riding lessons uh, while we were there. It was a lot of fun to do that in the middle of winter in a nice warm climate. And then we were on the beach a lot so then this is just sort of the beach that we had at the resort. Um, I was still trying to figure out what my style for the sketchbook was going to be at that point so it does change a little bit in the next couple pages. So um, our first stop in Europe was Iceland. We were only there for 24 hours, so it's a pretty short um, stop, but it was it was still fun. We got a chance to see the church um, that I cannot pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. We also went to the Blue Lagoon. I have a friend who's from Iceland, and she was kind enough to lend us her car and then take us to the Blue Lagoon after she got off from work. And then we also went um, downtown Reykjavik as well, so we saw some of the iconic Icelandic architecture that is uh, quite interesting, and yeah, I really enjoyed Iceland. I'd love to go back for longer than 24 hours, but uh, maybe someday I'll get to. So then after Iceland, we went to um, the Netherlands, we flew to Amsterdam, and we were there for, I want to say six days, so it was a good amount of time. Um, so. Uh, all of the iconic canals and bridges and architecture was really fun to see and really fun to sketch and um, so I really like transit for whatever reason I do my own series of transit um, that are Toronto based uh, streetcars and things like that so I always like that in different cities so I did that and then I also did the crooked houses or the really cool facades of the different Amsterdam townhouse type uh, buildings and then obviously Amsterdam bicycles yeah that's a no-brainer for that one <laughs> um, so we went to see a historical museum called the Zyderzee Museum it was in Enkhuizen, Holland and basically it's just like this fishing village that is set up um, for I think the early 1900s and how they would have lived then and so we got to walk around there but it was really fun. Um, then we went to Harlem and we saw the Cory Ten Boom house and if you've never heard of Cory Ten Boom she's an, an amazing woman who lived during World War II and hid Jews and also um, the Holland rebels over the, uh, the underground um, in the Dutch Resistance, that's it. <laughs> she hid the Dutch Resistance workers as well, and um, she has an amazing book that she wrote after all of this uh, about her experiences called The Hiding Place. It would be a really good read if you're looking for something interesting. True story and everything, so we got to see the actual hiding place, it was very cool. Uh, so we also went to Vondel Park in Amsterdam, and this was just kind of a relaxing day. We hung out and I did some sketching in the park and uh, <laughs> my people are not amazing so don't judge me on that but uh, we took some selfies and so I thought I had to throw one of those in there at least. Um, and obviously tulips, Holland and tulips are they go hand in hand, right? I got a chance to go to the uh, Rembrandt house which is the place obviously that Rembrandt lived and worked and had his studio and everything and so it was really interesting to see the setup of uh, a historical master painter and how it would have been set up. And then I wanted to show some of the food that we had in in Amsterdam and in the Netherlands. So we had a lot of traditional food, so the bitter ballen and the, I don't know how to say the other one, they're like mini pancake type things. Um, and then we also had some good old fashioned Asian comfort food, so we had ramen and that was just hit the spot. It was really great. Um, yeah, but Amsterdam had really good food. I really enjoyed it. So then we're on to Belgium, which is where we went to next. And this is Bruges that we spent the majority of our time in. Um, and my first night there, I had a really good meal, so I had to commemorate that. And then obviously Belgian chocolate is really uh, famous. And then um, in Bruges, they have in the town square, they have uh, 
carriage rides that you can go on, so I wanted to show that as well. I really wanted to go on one, but it was expensive, and I mean, it wasn't that big of a city that we couldn't walk around and see everything on foot, but they were nice to see around the city. Also in Bruges, swans are everywhere. Um, they're swimming in the canals all over the place, and yeah, there's a historical reason that I can't remember exactly what it is, but um, so I thought I had to capture those, and I hadn't really done many animals up to this point, and so um, I really was missing painting animals, because that is my preferred focus. Uh, we went to Ghent one of the days we were in Belgium, and it was miserable, I have to say. I was sick, I had a cold, so I was already not feeling well, and then it was raining, it was just like not great weather, but I'd love to go back at some point because Ghent was really beautiful even through all of that, and so I think that given the right circumstances, it would be quite an enjoyable city. <laughs> um, and then finally, our last full day in Belgium. Uh, we went for a bike ride. I was feeling much better, so it was nice. And we rented some bikes and went through the countryside. And I think it was probably one of my favorite experiences from our whole three-week trip. It was really nice, and um, we got to see some of the countryside, which is beautiful. Some random castles that were around, like <laughs> which you don't see in North America. So it was very cool to see that. And then these ugly trees that you see everywhere in the Netherlands and Belgium. I don't understand. They're just so ugly. <laughs> I mean, willows are not supposed to look like that. <laughs> um, and then I put a little bit of Belgian food on there because waffles, Belgian waffles, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Pretty tasty. Um, and then after Belgium, Belgium, I cannot speak, uh, we went to Germany and this was the only country that we went to, like we stayed in more than one city. So first we stayed in um, Freiburg, which was uh, near the Black Forest in southern Germany. So Bavaria, both of these places are technically Bavaria, I guess. Um, so we went to a cathedral there, it was beautiful. And then in their streets they have these little canals that you can kind of step over. They're very like, miniature little canals. And it's something that I guess is not really in any other city. This Freiburg is kind of famous for having these little canals and they're really weird and interesting so I thought I'd show that. And then of course we went on a hike in the Black Forest. So did some trees, there's some really creepy pine trees and I kept like hallucinating different things. I thought there was like a castle up ahead of us at one point. It was just really strange, but very interesting too and really quite enjoyed that even though it was pouring the entire time. And then for my birthday, we went to Europa Park, which is essentially an amusement park and really quite a, a good one, actually. I was surprised at how good it was. Um, and we were there for the whole day and it was beautiful weather and it wasn't too crowded. There was a, a good amount of people there, but it wasn't too bad. Um, and yeah, it was really quite fun. I love roller coasters and rides. It was great. And then after Freiburg, we headed over to Rotenburg. Obdetober, never say that right, so I apologize. Um, and our hostel that we stayed in there was right along the old city walls, which you can walk around on the city walls. And it's just such a beautiful little town. It's part of the um, romantic road in Germany, and it's just gorgeous. It looks like a fairy, fairy book, like a kid's story book. It's just beautiful. And they have um, food there called Schneeballen, which is actually not very appetizing. Um, it's like stale pastry rolled into a ball, but I love saying schneeball, so I had to put it in there as well. And we had Chinese while we were there, and again, not a very authentic uh, <laughs> German cuisine, but I was kind of sick of German food at that point, so um, so that's <laughs> basically why we, we went there. Um, and then while we were in Rotenburg, we decided to do a day trip to Nuremberg, which I'd never been to before. I hadn't been to most of these places before, actually, but... Um, and Nuremberg is just such an interesting town. I'd like to go back and actually stay there for a few days because there was just so much to see and we didn't even scratch the surface, but we went to the Nuremberg Castle, which was very amazing. And we also got to see the um, Albrecht Dürer house. And so Albrecht Dürer is... a big inspiration for me. He does a lot of really beautiful animals and um, other things as well, but particularly his animals are um, something that I really quite enjoy. And his rabbit 
is an inspiration for kind of the start of my series of animals so it's kind of special and that's it so I'll probably fill this up uh, once I go to a few more places I'm hoping to go to some places this winter um, and then when that happens I will show you the rest of the sketchbook but thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye